Let's solve 3 raised to the power x equals 11. Note that we're asked to obtain an exact solution. One way I can solve this equation is to use base 3 logarithms. Since I have a base 3 exponential, it makes sense to use base 3 logarithms. Let's take log base 3 of both sides of the equation. So log base 3 of 3 to the x equals log base 3 of 11. Well, let, what is log base 3 of 3 to the x? The question you need to ask yourself is 3 raised to what power gives me 3 to the x? Well, x, of course. So we have x equals log base 3 of 11. Pretty simple, huh? Well, another way we can think about doing this is to use natural logarithms or common logarithms. Some people prefer that method because computers and calculators tend to have either a natural logarithm, a common logarithm, or both. Let's take the natural log of both sides of our equation and see what happens. So we'd have the natural log of 3 to the x equals the natural log of 11. I can rewrite the natural log of 3 to the x using the power property of logarithms. This is the same as x times the natural log of 3. So I have x times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 11. Dividing both sides of the equation by natural log of 3, I come up with x equals the natural log of 11 divided by the natural log of 3. Now my two values for x don't look the same here. But remember we have a change of base formula. I can change that log base 3 of 11 to any base that I want to. In particular, if I change log base 3 of 11 using natural logarithms, I would have natural log of 11 divided by natural log of 3. So I really do get the same solution here. You can use a calculator to compare these two values, and you should get the same decimal approximation. Don't write that as your answer to this, though, because you're asked to obtain an exact solution. Either x equals log base 3 of 11, or x equals natural log of 11 divided by natural log of 3 would suffice. So we can either say the solution is log base 3 of 11, if we solve this the first way, or the solution is natural log of 11 divided by natural log of 3, if we solve this the second way. Both of these are exact solutions.